Deep Learning has achieved state-of-the-art results in image classification and speech recognition. Going forward, new models will combine enormous amounts of data from multiple domains. For example, you can generate relevant image captions using text and image data. Another example that uses text, image, and speech data is foreign language translation. And so, a simple observation is that learning from big data will require large-scale neural networks. Our approach to reduce the amount of computation necessary for neural networks draws inspiration from adaptive dropout. Here is a simple example illustrating the technique. Each neuron achieves a certain level of activation for a given input. Adaptive dropout stochastically drops neurons based on the magnitude of its activation. The strength of adaptive dropout is that it selects a very sparse set of expert neurons. The drawback is that it requires computing all the neuron activations first. The question is, can we intelligently identify the sparse set of expert neurons efficiently? The answer is yes. We can use locality-sensitive hashing to sample the expert neurons in sublinear time. So what is locality-sensitive hashing in 60 seconds or less? Essentially, it is a hash function that maps similar points to the same value with high probability. Say we have a group of colored balls, and we would like to organize them into three buckets. An LSH function would map the balls into three distinct color groups. First, the red and orange balls would fall into the first bucket. Next, the black and gray balls would fall into the second bucket. Finally, the blue and purple balls would fall into the third bucket. With neural networks, the neurons are analogous to the colored balls in the example. The experiments show that using our technique results in minimal accuracy loss while obtaining high levels of sparsity. Only 5% of the neurons were kept active in the neural networks. We will explain our approach in more detail during our conference talk. Thank you.